these companies are based in bangalore these are in pune these are in kochi um, these are in uh, dehradun um, delhi hi everyone jai hind jai bharat jai mata di welcome to mochani with decoded youtube channel another fine day for ship to shore series with captain rana and today's video is very important for deck officers jo ki those who want to quit sailing and come to shore because we are going to cover a very important talk about vessel routing there are a lot of opportunities for deck officers who want to go for vessel routing so we are going to talk about number 1 is opportunities number 2 what kind of skills are required number 3 is upskill what kind of skills you need where you can upskill and so that you can join fourth is how much is the salary that you can expect how to apply and last is what to expect so without wasting any time welcome sir welcome to another episode of ship to shore series thank you very much for coming thanks thanks for anita always a pleasure to talk to you and uh, yeah starting on uh, this vessel routing now uh, essentially why is it required uh, uh, what was happening is that a second officer a master were doing the route planning uh, on their own uh, right and basis their experience basis what they have learned over the years and basis the weather interpretation of the weather reports um now what has happened is and this has happened say about it's, it's been happening since about 15 20 years uh, back but now it is uh, happening in a more um um uh, structured manner and where it companies are providing support to the ship staff on the best way to route a vessel right uh, what happens when you route a vessel in a better way you are able to save on fuel cost and which is the one of the highest uh, cost uh, um, uh, categories on a vessel right um, opex for a vessel so, so even if you save a you know half a day of fuel cost it, it means a, a, a lot the, the entire service cost will will, will be recovered um, so that's the, that's what these guys as a vessel router will do now ideally uh, who would be a vessel router and and uh, who could grow is someone who has had a command experience uh, for a substantial period of time and who has routed the vessels himself so they will then be able to advise the masters or second officers on the vessel on how to do the routing right um, nevertheless uh, that that's that's the ideal but there are enough and more opportunities for second officers as well so basically if you are um, you know a, a second officer who has done routing you can come as an assistant voyage uh, router you can assist the masters and then slowly grow with it because um, you don't just require you know routing advice you also require uh, knowledge of technology you also require um, you know liaisoning coordination you also require commercial understanding which all of for these all of these things you don't need to be a master right uh, and that's where uh, you can um, uh, you know second officer can chip in um lot of companies lot of companies which are offering this services are now doing it from india and it's not just in mumbai like it is for most of the other jobs these companies are based in bangalore these are in pune these are in kochi um, these are in uh, uh, dehradun um, delhi uh, so so all these places these companies are there and you can actually um, uh, you know get get employed um, now coming to the salary part of it right um, now as a second officer you start at probably 8 to 10 lakhs but i have seen at least 3 or 4 second officers who have gone from 8 to 10 to 20 within 3 years right so this is 20 lpa lakhs per annum and which is a fairly decent salary uh, honestly um and then over and above you get uh, bonuses and incentives as a master uh, if you start over here um typical salaries are around 33 to 36 uh, in uh, in this but sometimes in some companies you may need to work in shifts uh, so that's maybe just one downside of it so so some companies have this policy of you know one month a year you work in the uh, evening shift or the night shift uh, because if, in case anything happens you should be able to attend to it um uh, it, it's a it's not a very very um, um high pressure job 
uh, I won't say it's a very relaxed job as well, but but it's a decent job. Uh, you know, you get a very good work life balance as well, and and good. Uh, it's a more, mostly it's an individual contributor role. Uh, so so you know, आप अपने काम से काम रखो and you'll do fairly well over here. Yeah. Um, anything else on this point? So sir, let's talk about the skills required. So you talked about you need to know vessel routing fine. But anything you are missing on the upskilling part or the skills part, please. Right now, I, I think for masters uh, who are planning for this, I think major skill is um, their vessel handling skills. Right while they were sailing, uh, their interpretation of weather reports. Right. So if you've done any course on uh, uh, you know understanding of weather reports, um, um, and, and there are a few available. um uh, which you can do for free so if you have done anything of that sort uh, uh, that will help second is if you have uh, done any short term courses on commercial because at the end of the day you have to show that commercial um, uh, benefit as well so any commercial intent or uh, or any commercial courses would also help but for masters it's basically your own um, uh, navigation skills um a little bit of technology skills for master would help not uh, very much required though. but as a junior uh, so as a second officer if you are planning to get into this technology skills right technology skills in the sense of you get codes of data data processing skills right uh, and uh, data processing analyzing and making meaningful information out of it those are the key things which are um required over here a little bit of commercial is okay not so important but data analysis is very important so sir from where can these people do these courses like is it udemy or from where can these courses be done right so i, I think what i would encourage is that you take up free courses uh, from udemy from uh, uh the, there are these are other aggregating uh, platforms so they have enough and more free courses and start with the basic uh, you know advanced excel kind of a course and then move on once you understand that you have an interest in it then there are uh, enough and more courses um uh, so 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 one is udemy and also i missed to mention um and i'll probably share the link also there is a government uh, website and and they are promoting these free skills uh, i'd shared it uh, sometime back as well and i'll share it with you pranit so so we can have that link also shared where uh, government is telling you that you do it from here and and they have built these courses in association with nascom and uh, other players so that's also something which you could look at great so that skill that uh, link will be in the description box as well in the comment section find sir how to apply now this is another thing chalo there is a second officer captain who wants to go for this vessel routing thing how to apply where to apply right no so i think two places uh, essentially if you have shortlisted the companies then you know uh, uh, apply directly to the companies otherwise there are placement consultants uh, whom you could apply because they would have a far uh, wider reach and they know when the opening comes uh, so they might be able to um, help you with it only thing is have a good cv before you apply a good professional cv that that's very important and an a good linkedin profile would also help i would suggest yes. so that is important guys and what can they ex expect over here like one thing was you said okay this is a salary that you can expect downside was okay you might have to work at shifts at the night as well suddenly the salary coming down is a part but you can get if you can get a job in dehradun that would be great if you are from dehradun if you are from bangalore getting a job in bangalore anything else coming up or that's it sir no i think that that pretty much it uh, pretty much it and uh, you probably get bonuses and incentives as well uh, over and above but that's uh, unwritten that's uh, i mean you, that's not confirmed Okay, with this, guys, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Mata Di. Thank you very much, sir, for this valuable video. Let's connect in the next video. Thank you very much, Jai Mata Di. Hi, if you are a marine engineer or a deck officer who is looking to quit sailing, I think so. Okay, this video has been of some help. And if you want all details of how to successfully transition from ship to shore for deck side or for engine side, then we have made this complete course free of cost, informative course for you guys. 
on Merchant Navy Decoded. The link is in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So if you are a marine engineer, you have a different section, different course. And if you are a deck officer, there is a different course for you for successfully transitioning from ship to shore. So please go ahead, do that course, get all the information. If you have got any query, contact Team Merchant Navy Decoded. We will help you, guide you to make uh, welcome changes and become successful. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Mata.